in this video, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paanong mag-admin access sa inyong Globe at Home Prefade Wi-Fi model B312939. So, bago ang lahat guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell para ma-update kayo kung meron akong bagong upload na video. So, step 1, punta ng Play Store and then download Kiwi Browser then install so wait lang natin guys na matapos siya ma-download Sixty four. Ayan is installing na siya. And then click finish. Then step two, guys. Uh, download natin tong admin tool. Yung link nito guys nasa description lahat, okay? So, click download. Ayun. So, check natin open kung na okay ba. Ayun. So, after nun, punta tayo sa file manager. Then, hanapin nyo yung zip. Kasi nakazip pa itong ano. Dap, uh, kailangan pa natin siyang extract So, click nyo lang yan. Click. And then, nalabas yung decompress file. Click OK. Ayun. Na-extract na natin. So, pagkatapos ito guys, punta tayo ng Kiwi Browser. So, exit. Kiwi Browser. Ito. Tapos, login tayo sa default low prepaid wifi natin. So, yung IP address. Ah, tsak. Yung ano pala, yung default username and password natin nasa likod lang ng ating modem so 192.168.254.254 enter then click login then Default username is user. Then default password is at L03 Gil 1T3. Check natin guys. Alright, login. Then next. Agree. Next, same password. Finish. Okay, so yun nakalag ina tayo. So ik pagkatapos n'on, iklik nyo tong tatlong dot sa kilid. Ayan. Then hanapin nyo yung extension. Ito extensions. And then. I-okay nyo yung developer mode. Ayan. And then, click load. And then, allow nyo lang yan. Allow. 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 And then, click files. And then, hanapin nyo yung in-extract natin kanina. So, ito. Mm. Download. And then, file download. Admin. Kiwi Browser. Ito. Ayan. So, na. Meron na tayong extension sa ating admin tool. So, pagkatapos nyan, click nyo ulit tong tatlong dot sa kilid. And then, scroll down. 
dun yung pinakailalim itong B312 939 admin tool open nyo yan alright so as you can see mayroong apat na bandwidth 3, 28, 40 and 41 so as of now nakakonekta yun sa band 41 so check natin yung uh, speed test nya kung gaano kalakas what guys ayun sa band 41 ayun 15, 16 17 so sa band 41 meron tayong download na 9.3 And then, meron tayong upload na 4.15 and then yung ping natin is 25ms so okay na okay so select tayo na ibang band so try natin tong 40 so maglo-load yan ayun so RSRP average okay so try natin mag speed test ulit sa band 40 ayun so medyo mahina siya so guys nakadepende pa rin to sa location nyo okay so merong download na 8.57 sa band 40 And then upload point ninety eight. Alright, balik ulit tayo. So tayo naman natin dong band twenty eight. Pili lang kayo dito guys kung alin yung mas malakas. Ito yung RSRP nya is good, RSRQ good, good lahat. So try natin speed test sa band twenty eight. Band twenty eight. Ayun guys, pumalo ng 20 Mbps So, sa band 28 Download nya is 21.7 Mbps Okay na okay Tapos sa upload niya is 23.1 Mbps So sobrang ganda guys So mas Check natin tong ano, Last band which is Band number 3 uh, Check natin to kung ano, uh, mag, Ilang Mbps Ang makuha natin dito So last band is band 3 Band 3 Ayun, sa Band 3 Mayroon tayong download na 10.2 Mbps And then sa upload natin, umabot siya ng 17.7 Mbps. So, sa akin guys, mas okay sa akin itong 28 tsaka 3. Kasi makita natin sa RSRP, RSRQ tsaka SINR, nagbigay siya ng rating na excellent and good. So, ganyan lang kadali guys. So, hindi nyo lang yung steps na tinuro ko. And then, apply nyo sa mga, sa inyo dyan. At hopefully, tigana rin sa inyo 